Hi guys, this is Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Now a few weeks ago you all had two projects to choose from, this mirror and this vase. Now I already made this mirror and it would be linked after this video. Now if you all would like to see how I made this vase and these two matching candle holders, then keep on watching. Now a full list of all the materials needed for this project would be found in the description down below. Now to get started, we'll download the pattern and the link for this is in the description down below. Now once you have your pattern, we will cut it out and start making our vase. Now we will place our pattern onto the cardboard, trace around it and we'll be cutting out 24 pieces of this design. Now if this is your first time here, consider subscribing and have your bell notifications turned on because the patterns would be free and absolutely free for the first 48 hours. Now we will take this pattern, we will cut it out and we will transfer all the markings onto our poster board just like this. Now once we have all our markings transferred, we will cut out the pattern piece from the poster board. Now we would bend the poster board so that we would be able to glue the circle nice and round. Now we would glue our poster board so that we would have a nice circle. Now we would glue our pieces onto the lines that we drew. Now you don't have to be precise with these lines or you don't have to put it exactly on the lines. These are just for some guides so that you have an idea of where to place your pieces. Now you'll repeat this process all the way around and this is what you will end up with. Now I left it open on the top and bottom so I could use it on both sides. Now we'll glue these little triangular pieces right here so that we would close up these spaces. Now we are gluing them at a slight upward angle and we'll do this all the way around keeping this same line. Now if it's not perfect and there's little spaces in between it like this, that's okay. It would work out just fine. Now I took the tape and I taped the entire bottom half. Now I was going to try a different process when I did the tape and I changed my mind and decided to do the rope. Now I don't believe that you need to do this part if you're going to just use the rope because it would cover up all of this. Now we'll take our circle pattern piece and cut it out. Now we'll trace it onto our cardboard and cut this out as well. Now I'll be using this rope that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. Now we'll place some glue on our cardboard and we'll start gluing our rope in place. Now we'll glue this at the bottom here and we'll continue gluing the rope all the way down. Now this is how you join the rope so you could continue gluing. Now you'll continue gluing all the way up until you get to here. Now this is how we'll finish off the edge. Now we'll cut the end of our rope at an angle so we won't have a bulk at the end. Now this is how the piece looks. Now I'm going to take it outside and spray paint it using this black Rust-Oleum spray paint. Now once we have it spray painted, we'll be using these mirrored tiles and we'll be cutting them into strips like this. Now these mirrored tiles are adhesive, but just for added security, we would be using glue just to make sure that they're really on there. Now 
Now we'll continue this process all the way around. Now I came back to show you guys, I switched to E6000 and this made it so much easier to do this process. Now we'll continue doing this all the way around. And this is what the finished piece looks like. Now for the candle holders, the only difference is we'll be using these toilet paper rolls. We'll take our small pattern, cut them out and glue them on to the toilet paper rolls. Just like we did the vase. Now we'll cut out our circle and stick it at the top here. Now we'll take our miniature triangle and stick it like this at an angle all the way around. Now I'm using this thinner rope also from the Dollar Tree. Now this is how we'll start gluing on the rope. We'll put glue on all the pieces and now we'll also put some glue sometimes on the rope just to hold the other rope in place. Now this is how we'll finish off the edge. Now I'm leaving the hole at the bottom just in case I want to use these miniature card holders as these. Now we'll repeat the same process that we did for the vase, for the candle holders, and this is what we'll end up with. Now I'm really glad I made a set. I think the pieces together came out so wonderful. And guys, I would love to know in the comment section down below if this is something that you like and if it's something that you'd like to try out. Thanks for taking the time out to watch the video. You have a blessed and awesome day. Now if you like this video, you may also like these as well. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next one.